I'm pleased to say I'm joined by the player who's finished top of this year's development tour, Ryan Meikle. Thanks for joining us again, Ryan. How are you doing? Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. All good, thank you. Good to hear. And we'll, we'll come back to the weekend just gone in a moment, but I just want to go back to the end of last year because you finished off the year with some good results. Your first major last 16 at Minehead in the Players' Championship Finals. How pleased were you with that weekend? Yeah, no, really, that was a really good weekend for me. Um, I'm not, I was one of the lowest seeded players in there, so I had quite a tough draw in, as in Johnny Clayton, so I um, kind of went there with and nothing to lose and um, yeah it ended up going quite well for me it was only a few weeks later you made your debut in the biggest event of them all the, the World Championship and on that first Saturday afternoon of the tournament as well what was that experience like playing at Ali Pali for the first time yeah no I don't think for any dark player it's a, it's a dream come true but obviously the tournaments didn't go too well I started off well but no, the, the atmosphere was just a million times better than what I expected and I knew that was going to be good so no it's I'm glad I'm back again this year. Really? Definitely, yeah. And heading into this year then, 2020, you had a, a new tour card via the development tour. I know it's difficult given we've lost a, a large chunk of the season, but what were your goals heading into this year? Yeah, no, like I said, I think I've had four years on the tour now, so considering I still feel I'm quite young, I've, I've got quite a lot of experience. So this time I was really hoping to push on and secure my top 64 place by the end of the two years. But obviously, the way this year's gone, that's going to be a well, it's the same for everyone, really. It's going to be so difficult, but um, we're so lucky that PC have put on all the summer series, and I'm hoping there'll be a winter series, and they're just a plan to catch up, really. But they're that, still the aim, trying to get in the top 64 after two years. Just touching on that summer series, then it was a, a couple of months ago, but it was the first events we had after that long break, and you had a few early exits in the first few days, but some eye-catching performances over the last three days. Uh, I think it was a 106 average against Scott Mitchell, uh, 111 against Joe Cullen, and then you took Michael Van Gogh into a decider on the final day. So some some really good performances there. Yeah, no, so I must admit, I think those first few days I was a bit rusty. I probably didn't play as much as I should have over lockdown. I was mainly until with the time off, so um, yeah, I thought it would be a long week after them first two months, but lastly, the three days after that, I was probably, I was saying, one of the best three days I've ever had, performance-wise, so yeah, luckily I come away from there feeling quite good. For yourself and all the players that weren't involved in the Premier League, there was a, a little bit of a break, but you're back involved again in the Autumn Series a couple of weeks ago now, and some bad luck, I suppose, with the, with the draws, getting Peter Wright, the world champion, in the last 64, and then getting him in the first round the, the following day. I mean, you and Peter both live in East Anglia. What's it like playing against the world champion who isn't far away from you? Yeah, no, I, I made sure I didn't do the same mistake as before, so I really put the effort in leading up to Germany. And, um, yeah, like I say, some of the draws weren't weren't put kind to me but um, yeah, yeah again I, I thought I performed really well averaged really well but yeah no Peter is, is an inspiration to all of us really especially from this part of the world so um, I think I beat him last year as well so he, he, he was desperate to get one back over me but obviously then he put me again and beat me again but no he He's a really nice bloke and I can learn a lot from him. Let's circle back then to this weekend just gone. Your, your weekend's work in Barnsley going into the, the final six events. You were top of the development tour order of merit. How are you feeling going into that given it was such a long break between the development tour weekends? Yeah, no, I was, like, so I was confident. I, um, I think having the pro tours before and a week before probably gave me a bit of an edge. To, uh, obviously some of the players there probably hadn't played for months and months. So I was, I was always confident and um, I just, yeah, my main aim, I really just want to get to Ali Pan again or wherever it might be this year. So, World Championships was the first thing and then, yeah, I, I'm glad, like I said, it was a bit of pressure towards the end, but um, no, I'm just really glad I finished top. And you, you mentioned that you were involved in the, the Summer Series, the Autumn Series, you had that bit of experience of getting back involved in, in playing darts after this long break. So, was there any point where you were thinking maybe the development tool that, that might miss out this year given all the, the restrictions we've got at the moment yeah yeah I did think that maybe um, obviously the pro tour was the main priority for them so um, I do think uh, typically the time I win the first two out of four events I thought maybe they'd just scrap this year but um, no yeah so lucky again to they managed to get the events on and obviously three long days with two tournaments a day so they got they still got a good amount of events in so um yeah, no, you say it's another top job from the PDC and everything's just run so professionally. 
and you didn't quite manage to add to your Hall of Six Development Tour titles in your career on your, your final weekend. Two finals and a, a semi-final, though, so some, some good runs for you over the, the three days, and in particular, I've got to mention that second final that you had against Keen Barry on that Sunday, both of you averaging 100+. plus. Uh, looks like that was one of the games of the weekend, watching on. Yeah, no, I was really... I was, yeah, really consistent, actually. Like, like I said, to not win one was a bit disappointing. I'd have liked to... I was hoping to win a couple. My aim was two. So, um, I don't like I said, two finals and a semi-final. But, yeah, that second set, I, th- I thought I had him there. But what, what a talent he is, that Keen Barry. I think I missed a dart to win it, and he took out an 88 on the ball. That was the break to make a good for the side and leg. So, um... Disappointing to lose, but obviously I think I averaged 104 points on front, so um, I can't really complain about the performance. And just looking back at the development tour, you've been playing on it since 2015, and Monday was your last youth event in the PDC, playing in the World Youth Championship. How were you feeling on that day, going into it, knowing that it was going to be your last one? Yeah, that was scary, really. Um, I remember my first year, and um, like I said, I was just a, I was young and. I had no experience or nothing, so to look back over the four years I've had on there, that's the power, how I've grown, has helped me massively. That's um, helped me develop, and um, yeah, like I said, that's a bit sad as my last one, but yeah, that's, that's done well for me. That's just a shame I couldn't quite get to the world final. Yeah, he came very close. I mean, last year he came very close getting to the semi-finals and Monday just gone, just losing out in the, the quarter-finals. Looked like you had a, a great game with Callum Ritz in the last 16, getting past him in a decider and just falling short against Jeffrey Desvan in the quarter-finals. Yeah, yeah, no, so two great games there. Um, no shame, obviously, losing to Jeffrey, you know, because he's been for the last few years. But, um, yeah, I was disappointed. I felt I played really well. And I did have two darts to win. So, like I said, I could have been one game away, but no, it wasn't to be. I was more disappointed if I'd have come away and not played very well. But, like I said, I felt I had a really consistent weekend. And like I say, that's a short day, a short day, but that wasn't mine. Looking back to your development tour career, what would you say are the, obviously you've, you've won the titles, but what would you say are the, the main highlights you can really pick out from, from playing on the PDC Youth Tour? Um, that's just, like I say, the way of... I remember my first few years when I was, like I said, 17, 16, 17, and um, all I wanted to do was play with the top ranked players, which at the time I think Benito was still playing and your Jamie Lewis's and all them sort of people. I just wanted to play them all and just to say I've played them. And then, like I say, to progress the way I have, to, I never thought I'd ever be able to finish top of the table. Or, like I say, I would probably win my first ever event to run. Like I say, I never expected to. To even get to a final, but like I say, to win, end up winning six, so I'm I I really happy with that. And you may have missed out on the, the World Youth Championship final, but we're still going to see you on TV in a World Championship this year, though. Of course, you're finishing top of the development tour. That's got you into your second appearance in the, the PDC World Championship at the end of this year. How excited are you about that? I know we don't know a lot of details about it yet, but to have qualified, you must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, no, exactly. That, like I said, that was the main. That was my main aim for the weekend. To try um, secure my qualification. After the last year, I was, I was devastated really. For it took me a while to go over it, perform how I did. So um, I say ever from January, that was my aim again. Get back there. I say that, that was a massive learning curve for me and the experience gained from it. So I really want to get back just to give it another go, kind of learn from your mistakes and um, yeah, I'm just. I know that it is at Alexandra Palace with a crowd, but who knows? Fingers crossed for that. And just lastly, away from the darts, I should also give a nod to your Strava game as well. My co host Burton, he's been posting some good numbers, doing some runs on there, but yourself, you've been clocking up the miles on the bike. How long have you been keeping that up for? And what would you say are the, the main challenges from the players on the tour to you as being the maybe the, the Strava king in the PDC? Yeah. Um, you know, that's just a thing what started over, because I started lockdown on. We were, we were closed for four months at work, so um, I thought I needed to do something to keep fit. So, um, yeah, no, I bought myself an old road bike. And um, that's another thing. I just started off with kind of 10, 15 miles, and now kind of a couple of times a week, you're doing 50, 60 miles at a time. And like I say, darts nowadays, you look at your going prices and that, they're all fit, healthy. You need you need stamina for the long days. So, um, yeah, no, I, I love it, really. It's, that's really kept me busy and I say I lost quite a bit of weight and yeah I was yeah I was trying to keep fit really because like I say it's not as 
that's kind of a new thing, I think, with all the fitness. And um, yeah, if you're not, if you ain't got the stamina, you're not going to win these like lure tours on the last day. They're, they're long old days. So um, yeah, no, it's just another little hobby I've gained. And um, yeah, there's a few of them on Strava now on the tour, so it's interesting to compare. And we have a laugh about it. So yeah, hopefully I'll keep it up. But keep doing the job. Good to hear. Well, keep up the great work on there and keep up the, the great work on, on the dartboard as well. Congratulations again on finishing top of the development tour and we're looking forward to seeing you uh, represent Suffolk again in the, in the World Championship at the end of the year. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.